actually wearing real bottoms for once, guys. <laughs> no pajamas. I had to get out of my onesie. Hi. Mm. I'm really excited about today's video because I have found the perfect little tops that are really affordable as well too. You know, whether or not we're having a summer, I will be taking walks in my neighborhood and it'll be hot. So I got a bunch of these little tops the other day from Garage. I love you, Garage. Like you're that girl. Like you are currently that girl. So I want to share these things with you because I am not selfish on this channel. The first thing I have to show you is so simple, but it's my favorite thing in the world. I haven't got a chance to wear it as of yet. I think this is called their Tia Tank. I could be wrong, but I'm going to link everything in the description box below. Can we just take a moment for this color? We all know how much nudes and like all different shades of nudes, like light beige, brown, chocolate brown, light brown are in at the moment. and. This one is just so pretty. Warm tone, but kind of cool. On me, like, it's a really good nude. I like it a lot. This Tia Tank is ribbed. I usually stray away from ribbed tops because a lot of the times they just, they look very cheap and they just don't give me what I'm looking for. Sweater Tank, it just has enough stretch but it keeps its shape at the same time. I love how flattering the square neckline is. I will admit, like on some people, it, it might not be the best look. But for me, I feel like because I'm bustier, like it just cuts me off. So it's just like, no, you can't show anymore. <laughs> so I actually like the square neck on me. I know I'm talking about a lot about these tank tops, but I'm very particular when it comes to outfits. Because sometimes, you know when you put on a tank top and it looks like it's meant to be an undergarment and not actually a piece that's meant to be exposed and a part of your outfit? These sweater tanks actually look like clothing pieces that you wear outside. And that's fine if you want to wear your undergarments outside. I just feel like this gives a more uniform look to an outfit. The straps, they're thick, but they're thin. They're just the perfect width. And for me, a lot of the times, like with these little tiny tops, you shouldn't wear a bra because they just get in the way and just whatever. I talk about being busty a lot because sometimes it gets in the way of my clothing. I just feel like a lot, not a lot of fashion people talk about it. For me, I just feel like sometimes I do need a bra. Like I do want a bit of lift and I just don't want to have to worry about lifting the girls throughout the day. So I find with these square neck tops, my favorite style of bra to wear with them are balconet bras. They just sit perfectly and just the girls just, ooh. So that's what I'm um, wearing today. I'm actually wearing the white version, but this brown version, can we just take a moment? I'm sure these two are gonna be best friends together. I got a pair of bike shorts the other day that were like kind of camel. I don't know if they'd match with them. I probably need like a pair of like brownie bike shorts now too. 1995. $20 like and the quality is mwah, it's just amazing so I bought it in the brown I bought it in the white I got it in two other colors as well black which I was wearing in my Balenciaga denim jacket review and I of course would pick it up in my favorite color which is this really pretty soft kind of salmony pink and oh this I I can't wait to wear it it's so it just makes me like want to do like a girly squeal like it's just so pretty <laughs> my heart is warm <laughs> other little tank from garage and it has this like little loop-de-loop -loop cutout detail so it has like this thick strap and this thin strap i bought this specifically to like fit underneath like a blazer i thought that would look so cool hopefully maybe it peeks out a bit shoulder exposed this was 16.95 this is from garage rethink I don't know what their Rethink line is, but it has a little leaf next to it. I don't know if it's like organic cotton or something. Let's see. It's organic cotton! Uh, look at you, Garage. Do it up. And it's still, is it more expensive? It's $16.95. Like, okay. And obviously organic cotton is great because our farmers, you know, don't get as much cancer because of the pesticides and just it's so much stuff that goes into organic cotton that I did not know about so it's great that brands like garage are thinking about stuff like that great to wear with like 
oversized high-waisted denim as well too like that's my logic like you know some vintage oversized Levi's or an oversized blazer um because like I don't want just like that skimpy look like today I'm wearing it because I think it looks like pretty with like the slip skirt but most of the times I would like wear it with like an oversized jacket or blazer or um sweater so a little more color crop top which just seems very simple at first but it actually has this tie waist detail and like I can't get enough of tie waist detail tops like I don't know what it is I just feel like they look so visually interesting like when they're on the body and like they just not in like tie or whatever and it also has a cutout back so it reminded me how much I have to do like my supermans to really get that back snatch because yeah and then it also reminded me that I need a really cute strapless bra that has like lace in the back because I could go without a bra for this but I wouldn't the fabric's just too thin it's just it's too much like I did take a picture without it and like it's fine if I'm standing one way but I don't want to just like and then it's like out. I think by the time this video goes live, I should have it. But I ordered this like lace uh, bandeau strapless bra thing. So you should be able to see like a peak of lace and it should be okay. But I just really... Neon stuff, it blinds me. I won't lie. Um, but I just feel like this is like a soft neon green. So it, it works. It's really pretty. I like it. This one is a little bit more basic and like I wish it was more of the sweater material like the Tia tanks but it's still really cute and it's this little I think this one's called the Veronica tank and it has like a v-neck in the front um, and like a scoop back but this is just really simple really easy and I thought it would be really nice with light wash high-waisted jeans it's just the plain jersey kind of cotton it's not like the sweater and I feel like the sweater tanks like took the dye of the colors like a lot better so the black tank is just so much brighter whereas this one is just it's a little bit dull and casual it's not bad like I was like oh, I'm not gonna return it because I, I could still get a lot of use out of this $16.95 and what's crazy about all this stuff too is like it's so affordable but yet you can still get discounts on it so like me and my friends we always like <laughs> we're literally always texting each other like yo did you see that new email garage some got something new <laughs> And it's funny because like garage back in the day like let me just say like 2020 garage is that girl 2008 garage is not her but um it's okay like she has improved and she has really glowed up and I'm proud of you I'm so proud of you but you can actually get discounts on a lot of these things um if you sign up for their like rewards program Essentially, however much you spend gets you to a certain tier and then you usually get different coupons and it's not hard to spend a lot there <laughs> because things cost 20 bucks and then they're just such good basics to have that you like rack up points and coupons really fast. So I really like the quality of this. It's very soft, nice and high neck, ribbed, classic kind of like, I'm not going to say the word because it's so horrible. The W word? that describes tank tops it's like that classic look that classic uh white tank top look i like how high neck uh this is i need to find a good bra to wear with it i'm thinking something racer back but i think i got rid of a lot of my racer back bras so we're gonna see this is so soft oh and i feel like tucked in again to like light wash high-waisted jeans are gonna look so pretty um, and this one was $16.95. I'm really sad because I want to pick up more colors, but like the colors I want are sold out <laughs> at the moment. Cardigan, button front cardigan. My best friend told me that I should be wearing more yellow and I couldn't agree with her more. It's so pretty, especially like soft yellow, like nothing too strong and mustardy, but it's so pretty. It makes me happy when I look at yellow. Um, especially now like when things are like a little bit depressing um, but it makes me think of the Sun and it's just so nice the sleeve length on this is really good the button front is just nice it's good to wear as an actual cardigan but I, I prefer the look of it just as a top alone it's the fit of this is, is so good it's so good and I got all of these pieces in a size small I pretty much always wear a size small from garage um, Unless, like, I want an oversized look, then I'll go for a medium. Extra, extra small, I believe. I believe they start from extra, extra small. They had it in a light heather gray, and it's sold out, and I really hope they bring it back. Bring it back, please. And there's, 
I think I want to pick up the black one. Even though I have my Uniqlo cardigan, it would be cute to have a black one because it's cropped, you know? And there's a really pretty baby blue one, which I would get, but I already have like this Aritzia one, so it just doesn't make any sense. There's some really pretty colors in this, and you guys should check it out. Garage, you should do this in lilac. Can you bring out more colors? Like, down. I would be so down. Oh, and that was $29. Oh, and like a little like fun last thing just to like get me in the mood of summer. I bought a bikini. Probably not going to model it for you because like it's a lot. <laughs> it's pretty scandalous for Garage. I was like, wow, you guys are like actually buying like hot girl stuff now. It's really hard to show it like this. Um, there's it's a multi-functional bikini so you can wear it like mul multiple ways I think there's like six ways to wear it or something like that I will post the photo of the girl right here but it's so pretty and again I'm here for these different shades of nude and this works on me too like the bottoms were $19.99 $19.95 and then the top was $26 I think $26.95 so 27 bucks so this is and the quality of their swimwear i'm floored i'm floored it's so good you really don't have to spend a hundred dollars on a swimsuit to have it look good and be of good quality oh, by the way this video was not sponsored by garage i just really genuinely love their stuff and wanted to show them to you guys and i know i talk a lot about designer things on this channel but i i wear both high and low end and I want to show you guys how you can style these things up and incorporate them into a wardrobe um, that has like good quality pieces at the same time. So I want you guys to know that you can actually shop affordable and still get quality at the same time. So click my big head to subscribe. Make sure you watch these other videos you may have missed and click the bell so you know when I post new videos. I love you guys so much and take care.